Greetings and salutations, Internet! So, it's been a while. Um, I have a not very small confession to make, and actually it's not really that much of a confession. If any of you happen to read my blog at all, you already know this. I am completely addicted to The Quest. Now, for those of you who don't know, The Quest is a television show. Um, and I hang my head in shame, sort of, because it's a reality TV show. I say sort of, because it's a reality TV show set in a fantastical world. So it's actually really super cool! All the contestants uh, are paladins, and they're all vying to become the one true hero of this kingdom and save it from the evil whatever. Um, and the season's over now, but it will be getting a second season, right? ABC? It will be? Yes? 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 Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, point is, uh, the competitions are really cool and it's all set in uh, a storyline, so most of the time the competitions have something to do with the story and uh, it's just, the actors are brilliant. So what happens is these ordinary folk are brought into this world, um, completely populated by actors who are each playing their part, um, and it's like a giant improv session, like the actors uh, uh, react to whatever it is that these competitors are doing and it's the idea is cool and the execution was cool although it was a little corny at the end but still it was cool it was really really cool and I was thinking the whole time I'm watching this TV series over and over it was only five times okay that I would love to be in it how cool would it be to go in and do all of these things that these these people are doing it would be awesome the more I thought about it, uh, the more I thought, uh, maybe not so much a competitor. Because let's face it, I'm not the most competitive person on the face of the planet. Like at all. Because I always lose. I was thinking I'm not so much of a paladin character either. Really. Not really. I'm kind of more of a rogue. Or a ranger. I yeah, ranger, because, you know, outside could spend my whole life camping and I would be happy. So, um, I don't know, maybe I could be part of the show as a character. I could play some completely badass ranger, uh, or something. I could totally do it. Xena Warrior Princess was my favourite show growing up and it's not like I'm completely useless now. Not really. I mean, I'm totally badass. Yeah. Totally. Like I kickbox. Do Kung Fu. <laughs> Guys, you would not even have to supply me with a weapon, because I kind of already have an armory. Seriously though, no, seriously. I have a sword! It's a head and a half or a bastard sword. The style of the uh, the hilt is Viking. See? Isn't it cool? It's a really in desperate need of being taken to a grinder because I've actually trained with this sword against another sword and um, what happens when you buy cheap is you get sort of a soft metal that nicks really easily. Um, but yeah, I could bring that. I mean, as long as you've got a grindstone, we're good, right? I have this. For those of you who don't know, it's a Chinese broadsword or an oxtail sword. Got it. Uh, I even know how to use it a little bit. This one's spring steel though, um, so it's sort of flexible. I am saving up for a combat steel one because, yes, a combat steel gen! Isn't it gorgeous? Wooden handle, so beautiful. Anyway, uh, it's not sharp, obviously, otherwise I probably would have cut off my own arm. I mean, no, I'm totally badass and I know what I'm doing with my weapons. I have hook swords. They're really cool. I haven't trained much with them yet, uh, it has to be said, but I mean, I can, and I know some things. So, you know, I have these. They're not sharp either in their practice. Sorry, but, oh, uh, you know what's really sad? These cost me $35. Uh, that's not much, but my stupid, like, bastard sword cost me way more and it's not nearly as durable so 
That makes me sad a bit. Because I'm a ranger, it's not like I would have like giant swords, right? Right? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would have deer horn knives, maybe. Yes? No? Okay. I have these. These are combat steel. Nah. <laughs> they make me really, really happy. <laughs> I also have this traditional recurve bow crafted in Hungary. It's 43 pounds. I could hunt with it if I really wanted to. I'm not sure that I want to. But I could! That's the point. I could. And I know how to use it. And I know how to use it from horseback. So, there's that. I call her Eilir. It means butterfly in Welsh. And I'm totally badass. No, I totally am. Really. I am. Just ask these people who were in no way blackmailed into giving this testimony. Hi, my name's Jeff. Occasionally I write things, but right now I'm going to talk to you about something very different and something that could very well save your life. That is, I'm here to warn you about Sonia Carrier, or SM Carrier, or the Horse Mistress of Authorial Doom. Now, the reason why I'm warning you is that she's a very gracious host, and she certainly likes to talk about movies and literature and geekdom and all, the, all those other wonderful things that we like to surround ourselves with to make our lives more interesting. However, she can be quite quick to anger and she is quite dangerous seeing people get dismembered. So if you do run across her, be nice, be polite, do as she says, and you just might come out of it alive. I am here to tell you about Sonia Carrier, the most brave, virtuous woman I have ever met in my life. In fact, words don't even go so far as to describe her. So, I'm hoping actions speak a little bit better. If we were in some bad karate movie, I would let Sonia be the Miyagi to my Daniel-san. I would wax on and wax off all day with her. However, going further, if we happen to be together on some disenfranchised sports team, forced to overcome ethnic and cultural boundaries, I would let her coach us to victory. But further, if we were soldiers trapped in a war, unknown of the results, I would follow Sonia Carrier into hell and back. However, buttons are tough. I would also let her teach me how to undress. If we were forced into acts of piracy due to desperation to save the people we love, I would allow SM Carrier, the Sonia Carrier, to be my captain, and I would sail the seas with her. And finally, if we were superheroes, stranded in another universe, I would let Sonia be the Batman to my Robin. Be, I guess, the Wonder Woman to my Superman. Because she is the most outrageous, spectacular person I know. Alright, so... I'm here to talk to you about uh, SM Carrier and how dangerous she can be. She's a real killer. I mean, I once saw her um, take down a bear. Yeah, it's a big bear too, huge, with nothing but, um, yeah, a little plastic sword. She just took that bear right down. Right. See, I could totally do it. It would be so much fun. Uh, pros, I already have an accent, so I don't even have to fake that. Um, I have some martial training, <laughs> so I could pick up stuff pretty easily. I know how to ride, although I haven't been out this summer at all. I blame my Australian trip for that. Um, 
I could very happily camp out in the wild for like ages and be the happiest person on the face of the planet. That's all I can really think of, actually. Cons! Uh, I haven't done any serious acting since high school when I was in the amateur theatre. But I did work retail for seven years and that counts, I tell you. And you know, I do- I am a writer so I do inhabit characters' minds quite frequently. In fact, you will often see me walking to work having a conversation as a character, sort of feeling out the character's actions in any given scene that I'm about to write. I mean, on the level of, like, super cool and really lame, it's like crazy lady living under a bridge kind of stuff. Ah, uh, I don't have straight teeth. I mean, they're straight up and down, they're just not straight this, that. You can, t you can see. I can't help it, we were too poor growing up for me to get braces and I'm too poor now for me to get braces. Uh, but that might work, right? Right? I mean, there weren't any braces in Everrealm, were there? So, you know, it wouldn't matter. Why is my bra strap falling down? Ugh, cons, bra straps. <gasps> Pros, I wouldn't have to wear a bra, that would be amazing. So yeah, so I could totally play like a badass woman character that can go toe to toe with any of your male characters in a very choreographed fight. And also, you know, with this YouTube channel, clearly you can tell I don't mind acting like a tit in front of the camera. Which is a big part of it. <laughs> Alright. So, if you are in the market for a really badass warrior woman kind of person... I'm over... Hey, pick me. Over here. I can totally do it! Please? old still not an adult <laughs>